Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS4Root.com for this week's ROM of the Week. Check out SAC's custom ROM uh, by XDA user SAC23. Um, I've been actually following his ROMs uh, since the Sprint Galaxy S3. He makes some excellent, excellent ROMs that are kind of like stock, but uh, gives you very good battery life performance. Um, so he has a new ROM for the Sprint Galaxy S4, and uh, this ROM is pretty cool. Uh, it comes with X Reality Engine uh, from one of the latest Xperia um, phones, so it should give you better images. Um, let me go ahead and show you. Three minute settings are um, integrated perfectly in here, which allows you to customize. You can center clock, you'll see the clock move there. Um, and a bunch of stuff you can do. Change the LG, uh, LT logo here, you know, 4G LT logo you want 4G or you want like the Verizon type of 4G you will have to reboot to make that effect um, a bunch of stuff you can do and also toggles control you can do it here and uh, you can add more toggles um, if you want you know if you want sound first you go ahead and drag it to the front Oop, there you go and you've got sound first or vibrate um, or if you want Bluetooth first you can go like that and Bluetooth first. So that's nice. Um, there's also some more stuff you can do make, uh, wallpaper scrolling, fast shutdown, fast reboot, torch on lock screen. Um, so you can hold down the home button in your lock screen to get torch. And there's another torch in this ROM, which is really cool. And also long press, volume skip track, all this stuff. And uh, also, if you go to settings, my device. Um, you'll be able to go to ROM control here and uh, you'll be able to enable AOSP lock screen which I have it here um, that's kinda cool or you can turn it off if you don't like it also torchlight um, this is really neat uh, you can have your phone off and hold down the volume up button and this will turn on uh, the flashlight for a set number of seconds that you set so this is very nice you don't even have to be on your lock screen uh, very useful. See, it turned off. And you can set the timeout here: 30 seconds, 10 minutes, whatever you want to do. Um, so very nice ROM, and uh, also there's a bunch of performance battery tweaks. So it should give you much better performance battery life over stock. Um, also, Google Wallet working fine out of the box. A multi-window manager um, for enabling all apps. But um, I haven't actually have to use that. Let, let me actually try it out again. Uh, let's go ahead and download Chrome and see what happens. Also, getting 4G LTE just fine. Now, um, if you are on, if you have not updated your phone to MF9 ever, this is a MF9 based ROM. Um, I did have trouble getting Wi Fi working. Um, so, what you can do is update the baseband. I'll have, if you're still, if your baseband version still says MDC or something else, I'll show you how to update it to NF9. I'll have a link to it on my site. Um, just go follow that and you should be able to do it. And let me see if the Chrome actually added on here. Yeah, it does. Uh, let me add some non, non apps. Uh, let me go ahead and, let me see if Titanium Backup app does work here. And uh, I think this multi-window bar is enabled for all apps, so you don't actually need to use that. But um, we'll check it real quick here. Other cool stuff uh, with this ROM. It does come with... Oh, let's check it real quick. No, no, it's not. So you can use um, multi-window manager app for those apps that's not supported in multi-window. That's not a problem. And what was going to show you? Oh, Viper for uh, Android FX. This is great. Go ahead and choose this. Uh, when you first run it, it's going to ask you to install it. Go ahead and install it and choose um, Cortex A8 with Neon. Uh, and then reboot, and you'll be able to fully utilize Viper for Android FX. Um, and it's going to look great uh, for your, you know, tweak your sound. Um, all of this stuff just be careful when you boost some of these stuff because it actually works really well and do let me know uh, what you think of this ROM and uh, my two favorite ROMs if you ask me also nice transparent notification bar there uh, very nice 
Uh, my two favorite ROMs is Triforce ROM, uh, the ROM I featured last week. This one's slightly different, uh, but I still really like this one also. Um, so, you know, if you haven't tried Triforce ROM yet, try that one first and also try this one. Triforce ROM has been doing really well for me. And also this does have native hotspot working out of the box. Um, so you can just do that and it will work. So very nice. And as always, don't forget to donate to the developer of this ROM, XDA user SAC23. I'll have a link to his donation PayPal link uh, if you like, if you end up using this ROM as your daily driver. Uh, but very fast, very good battery life. And uh, yeah, uh, that's about it. And that's around the week for Sprint Galaxy S4. I've got more ROMs of the week uh, for the other phones coming soon. And I'll see you guys soon. As always, if you have a Galaxy S4, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxys4root.com. We update you once a week or maybe once every two weeks uh, with ROM of the week. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android. And also, this does come with App2SD because it's based on MF9. Um, to do App2SD, just go to uh, My Apps, Application Manager, Dolphin Browser, whatever. Move to um, SD. Um, you can just press that button, move to SD card. All right. Um, not all apps, but some apps, you should be able to move it. So that's about it, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay high on Android.